Welcome to Inside Sim Racing. I'm Darren Ganji, and I'm here with another E3 2014 special report. And this one is on World of Speed, developed by Slightly Mad Studios, and it's going to be available from a company called my.com, my.com. Never heard of them before checking this out. I went to their behind closed doors room, and when it said my.com, I'm like, where the heck am I? This isn't Slightly Mad, but it was. Slightly Mad's developing this title. Uh, unfortunately, they wouldn't let me film any of my gameplay, uh, so I'm just going to run some of the trailers and stuff that they've given us access to, also a ton of images uh, along with what I'm going to tell you. Now, if you don't want to hear about a pure arcade racer, then you might as well tune out right now. Uh, and I'm just throwing that disclaimer out so you don't dislike this show just because it was an arcade racer. We do cover arcade racers on the show. We have in the past. Honestly, didn't know it was going to be an arcade racer until I got there. I guess I just haven't read enough about it. I was assuming that since Slightly Mad was developing it, I was assuming that they were using the same engine that Project Cars was, and I didn't know what it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more of like a drive club, but this is more like a Need for Speed World title. And these guys did not develop Need for Speed World. This is something completely new to them, but it's definitely along that type of MMO, massively multiplayer online style of game. You know, and, and I'd like to thank Andy Tudor for taking the time out to tell me about it. And he really related it to more of like a World of Warcraft type thing, except for with cars. Uh, you know, and instead of upgrading your I don't know, wizard, troll, whatever, in a role-playing game with swords and stuff like that. You upgrade your car with parts and, and stuff like that. So, so anyway, again, if you don't want to watch or hear about a pure arcade racer, tune out now. If you do, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Again, the World of Speed is a massive multiplayer online or action racing video game, and it allows players to hop into the driver's seat of their favorite cars and race across real-world circuits and tracks carved from the streets of real-world cities. As an online experience, players will be able to create and join in clubs, compete against other players and teams in a variety of gameplay modes, interact and show off in the airfield social hub and dominate the world in territory wars. So, I think they're really trying to focus on the whole club aspect and team aspect. Uh, and like, when you're going into a race, it's like going into a raid. You know, if you're uh, into that, you know, World of Warcraft type game, but want to play it, you know, on the car side of things. World of Speed is going to be a free to play experience. And one of the questions I asked Andy was, okay, so like I know on Need for Speed World, sure you could start for free, but unless you actually pay, you're going to get your butt kicked. The free to play players on Need for Speed World were getting their asses handed to them, to put it bluntly. Uh, because they didn't spend the money to upgrade their cars or buy the faster cars. And Andy specifically stated that is not going to be the case with this title. That it's going to be free to play across the board. You're going to have access to all the cars, all the tracks, and all the upgrades free to play. So then I asked him, I said, well, there's going to be something to buy in the game, right? And, and he said, yeah, of, co of course there's going to be. And I think basically you can accelerate your career by buying into it versus, you know, on Need for Speed World, you have to buy things to be competitive or to really be fast. And that's not gonna be the case here. Probably you're just gonna have to spend time leveling up uh, on the free to play side to be able to get the same types of things versus the accelerated purchase. Uh, but he said you'll be able to play from start to finish in this whole title and have access to everything for free. And I thought that was really cool. It's great to see something like that because a lot of people complain about free to play stuff that it's not really free to play and that you really have to buy into it to get the most out of the game. So that's not gonna be the case. So a little bit more on the teams and clubs. Players can team up with friends and other players in multiplayer matches or form clubs where they can customize their logos, earn access to a club garage, social hub, compete against other players and rival teams, show off in the airfield arena, and battle in high stakes races and territory wars. So I, I got a little, I, again, I got a chance to try it with a gamepad. Speaking of which, I asked one of my questions was, is this gonna be compatible with wheels? And yes, all three of the major manufacturers are gonna be supported. By the way, this is gonna be on the PC only. It's gonna be, be available sometime this year, and I think they're gonna start beta pretty soon. 
Uh, but all the major wheel manufacturers are gonna be supported, Fanatic, Logitech, and Thrustmaster. So, you know, if you're looking for something on the arcade side, something, you know, of a diversion from the hardcore sim stuff that we usually cover, this could be a lot of fun. And it, it seemed like it based on what I tried and there's nitro boosts and the physics engine was definitely not on the hardcore side, you know, because I was driving with a gamepad and it was it was pretty easy to get the hang of. But anyway, uh, tracks, you're going to be able to race across licensed circuits and custom built tracks based off real world city streets. Uh, Brands Hatch, Laguna Seca, Streets of London and Moscow are all going to be represented. Uh, car selection looks pretty stout too with some pretty nice looking cars going to be available in the title. Uh, and uh, I saw a Camaro on one of the, uh, the trailers, but uh, and needless to say I'm a Camaro fan if you've watched the show. Yeah, you're going to be able to do tuning, get upgrades to your cars. And they're also mentioning that the future is going to be an evolving online experience and it's going to be supported with regular updates and the addition of new cars, tracks, gameplay modes, etc. Physics, like I mentioned, seemed more on the arcade side, uh, but it'll be nice to see what it feels like with a wheel and pedal set and see if that's going to enhance the experience or slow you down. It's definitely geared towards the massive multiplayer where, you know, anybody with a mouse, uh, keyboard, gamepad, we'll, we'll be able to access it and drive it up to those of us who have, you know, a more hardcore setup and uh, you have a wheel and pedal set. So, gonna be interesting to see that. Gr the graphics looked really great. It was just running on a single monitor. Curious if it's gonna be triple monitor supported. Uh, that, would, that would definitely enhance it. Sounds were really cool too. I was running with a, a headset so I could hear things really well and like the sounds. Uh, there's definitely going to be things as you're going along, like uh, hit the, 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 the right line on the track and I think you, I don't know if it helps you level up there or, but this is, you know, we talk about arcade, simcade and simulation. This is very far right on the arcade side of things and, which is cool. It, it, again, it's cool for diversion. I'm not against arcade titles. I enjoy playing them as a matter of fact. Before Sims came out, that's all we had to play on. And, you know, they take that from going to the arcades back in the day. I went as kid as a kid and drove games, all sorts of games on, you know, with a wheel and pedals at the arcade. And none of them were Sims. I mean, actually, Hard Driving, I think, was the first actual Sim. Anyway, I'm getting off track here. Again, MMO style environment, pure arcade. It's going to be available sometime this year. Slightly Mad's developing. My.com is the company that's going to be distributing it. I'd like to thank Andy Tudor for taking the time out to show me around uh, World of Speed, answer my questions, and then take me over to check out Project Cars on the PlayStation 4, and I have another video on that. Uh, you may have already seen it. I think I'm going to already have it up by the time you see this one. So hopefully you've enjoyed this take or this quick look at World of Speed. Come to our website, isrtv.com. have a link right here. Uh, we'd love to have you there, check out our forums, talk about this title, other titles, hardware, everything in the sim racing arena. Also, speaking of talking to us, come to our Facebook and Twitter if you'd like to comment on these, these titles and give us your opinion. We'd love to hear it. And uh, that's going to wrap things up. My E3 2014 look at World of Speed. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I'm Darren Ganji. I'll see you guys next time.